Baltimore City State's attorney Marilyn Mosby will have to wait another six months for her federal trial. The judge in the case announced today the jury trial will begin on March 27th. Now this is the second time the trial was moved. It was originally scheduled for May and then it was moved to September 19th. Fox 45's Jeff Abel was in court today. He has a look at how this delay could impact the case. Well, this case isn't expected to hit the courtroom now for another six months, and in that time, experts say a lot can happen to change its course. She had asked the court for a speedy trial, but today, state's attorney Marilyn Mosby learned her federal perjury trial has been delayed for another six months. It's what it is. You got the court's order, and we're going to follow it. You wanted a speedy trial. Yeah. This is as fast as the court could do it. During a two hour hearing this afternoon, the judge rescheduled the trial for March 27. The delay comes after Mosby's own defense team added an expert witness to their case, forcing prosecutors to ask for more time to request a witness of their own. They asked for a speedy trial, uh, but you have to remember, uh, you know, the Mosby defense team the, you know, caused these delays. It does appear that the defense in this case has really forced uh, the postponements. Prosecutors also demanded to know more about one of Mosby's witnesses who claims that her net worth declined by 30% during the pandemic and compares the decline of her non-operational travel business with the decline of other U.S. corporations. But Assistant U.S. Attorney Leo Rise asked the judge, I have no idea how Walt Disney World is comparable to mahogany elite enterprises. Meanwhile, experts say the six-month delay in the case could cause further complications. I don't expect the theories to change much, but there's always the risk that uh, witnesses may become unavailable. If the government has more time to get a rebuttal expert or to parse through most of these representations of what she will present at trial, I think it definitely puts them in a better position. Prosecutors have asked the judge to impose a gag order in the case after Mosby's defense attorney blasted government prosecutors outside the courthouse this week. She has yet to impose one. This is simply a distraction. This is a very learned judge and a judge not interested in the antics. As for the gag order, the judge is expected to decide in October. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. So here is a look at the new timeline for the case. The defense will provide more information on their witnesses on October 7th. There will be two hearings in January, both on motion and deadlines. And then there will be a pretrial hearing on March 7th. Jury selection is scheduled for March 23rd and 24th. And again, that trial date is set to begin on March 27th. And when leaving the courtroom after the trial was delayed, Moby's, Mosby's attorney, A. Scott Bolden, was vocal in his displeasure. This was yesterday. And they've told us repeatedly they didn't want experts, they didn't need experts. And now on the eve of trial, they report to the court on the record that they're going to use experts. All right? If I could curse, I'd tell you it was all bull. Right? Well, Bolden apologized for those comments today in court as prosecutors seek a gag order based on that post hearing gathering. As Jeff mentioned, a decision on that request won't be made until at least October 7th.